Now this is an easy problem. This says identify the pair of enantiomers and diastereomers from the following compound 1, 2, 3. So we have been given 3 compounds. So you have CH3 and then HOH. So please keep copying. OHH and then this side you have CS3 and they call this as a compound number 1 and you have compound number 2 that is CS3 and then you have OHH OHH and then you have CS3 and this is compound number 2 and we also have compound number 3 that is OH H and H OH here you have CS3 and here you have CS3 so this is compound number 3 so we have 3 compound that is given to you and you have to tell me which are the enantiomers and which are the stereoisomers that is the diastereomers so you have to tell me a stereoisomers and diastereomers in the following cases and this is the easy problem basically you can do this one yourself now if you see in this case so case number two there is a plane of symmetry so you see there is a plane of symmetry can you see this one or not so if you divide this molecule along this plane you will have a plane of symmetry so this compound will show optical rotation zero degree and that is a meso compound. So this is meso. You are getting or not? So this is meso. Now compound 1 and 2 are basically mirror image. So if you make this 1 and 2, you see if you make a mirror image, so let me make this one. So you have this and this. So if you see compound number 1, CH3, CH3 here you have and then you have H, OH. OH H and compound this is compound number 1 and you have compound number 3 that is OH H and this side you have HOH and then you have CS3 CS3 so this is compound number 3 so if you place a mirror here if you place a mirror here you see these two are mirror images so these are enantiomers mirror images are enantiomers you see the formula is same this carbon contains the same groups this carbon contains so this carbon and this carbon contains same group similarly this carbon and this carbon contains the same group so these are enantiomers are getting so now i can say one and three are enantiomers but 2 that is meso so 2 is a diastereomers with 1 and it's also diastereomers with 3 so we have 1 so I can write 1 and 3 are enantiomers so these are easy problems and 1 and 2 and also 3 and 2 so you can call 2 and 3 are so 2 and 3 are diastereomers so this is the diastereomers are you getting so we have two diastereomeric pair and we have one enantiomeric pair so 1 and 3 are diastereomeric pair 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 are two diastereomeric pairs and we have only one enantiomeric pair. You get it? Let us discuss the next problem. We don't have to uh, lose so much time. These are the easy problem.